What's up people, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing well. I was playing with my new Xbox One today and the new Halo, the Master Chief Collection I was playing, looking at it with my son. Quite enjoyable. I will have more on that later. But for tonight, this is a comments corner. Let's take a look at some of your comments on the video. What are the best Linux distros of 2014? You still have time to vote. Just place your comments below. Each one, each comment counts as a vote. You have until the 21st of this month. All right, Sheldon Seawin says, by the way, I love your reviews. Well, thank you, Sheldon. Just don't post much. Uh, does that mean I talk too much? Uh, anyway, wanted to say thanks for a while now, so thanks. Well, thanks again. Sheldon does continue. I have three, yes, three favorites. Can I plug all three? Sure you can. Let's see, hope so because I have distro hopped a lot over the past 18 months. My personal computer is Linux Mint Cinnamon all the way. Well, Linux Mint Cinnamon is good. And I might add that I love their new LTS approach. So do I. Let Ubuntu cut their teeth on me or I will stay safe and sound in my Mint cocoon and still get funky updates from the Mint team. Next is Linux Lite. Linux Lite is also good, so thank you again, Sheldon, for posting. AVI Sayag, Debian Stable, okay. Arthur Gregory, hello, Arthur. I'd have to say Mint Cinnamon, Manjaro KDE, and Evolution KDE, formerly FuArch. All right, James Kitzmiller, Netrunner Rolling, and Manjaro. I also like those two, yes. Mark Hodge, hello Mark. Based on stability, number of bugs, problems caused by so-called updates and bug fixes, I would say Linux Mint Cinnamon. Hmm, there seems to be a pattern here with Cinnamon. And XFCE 17 based on least problems and work and least work. Set up how I like it. Install apps after a fresh install again, Linux Mint. All right. Rob Mather, 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 hello Rob, mine would be Linux Mint 17, surprise. <laughs> I would have said Linux Lite, uh, however, for me to run XFC, I need a compositor to get rid of video tearing when I was a newbie, that took a lot of meddling. Again, Linux Mint is getting a lot of votes. Lacko, Lacobus 93, hello, I have to go with OpenSUSE since it's the only distro that works well with my laptop thus far, okay. B ball the Arch Linux is mine hands down. Well, Arch Linux is terrific for power users, just probably not for beginners. John Mall, hello John. As a newbie, here's my top three: Manjaro, Linux Lite, and finally Corora. I love these three systems. Now I did reply Manjaro best for newbies. Wow, I've, and he says I've been using Linux since April and I've tried them all. Sorry, Manjaro, Manjaro is not difficult to use and it rocks. There's no need to apologize, John. Yeah, I can certainly recommend Manjaro. Just make sure if you are a newbie, you read the documentation. Zan Ying, hello Zan. OpenSUSE 13.2, very good. Another vote for OpenSUSE from Andrew Baba. Hello, Andrew. The Left Libertarian says, for desktops, I'll say Linux Mint, OpenSUSE for servers, Debian, Fedora, OpenSUSE. Okay, cool. Layarch111, hello. Linux Mint 17, Mate, yay. That's one of my favorites, the Mate desktop. All right, Kyrie Holmes says, in my honest opinion, Ubuntu 14.4 LTS, Linux in general is awesome and exciting to use. I'm not too familiar with Arch, Manjaro, Linux Mint, OpenSUSE, etc. If I had an old crappy PC, I'd play with them as my daily driver, Ubuntu 14.04 uh, LTS. As for dual booting, I so would dual boot Windows and Linux and Linux and Linux. Well, I certainly enjoy dual booting, as you most of you know, and I did reply my desktop of choice is Ubuntu. Let's see, Dex True, hello Dex. If my GF5 will, co will, be, will come out, will be out this year, then it'll be my GF5 for me, 100% sure. I'm currently using Magia uh, Cauldron, which is the beta channel of Magia. M4 was already pretty darn good, but kinda outdated. Uh, let's see, I've u I have used to date, okay, this is the best distribution I've used to date. Okay, I used a lot from Ubuntu, Mint, LMDE, LL, Bodhi, Arch, Manjaro, Debian, Solid XK. Well, 
I don't believe I have messed with Magia, so let me know how it turns out. Edward Tana did reply to Dex, just hope it's, it does not end up like M4 on release. It was super buggy. Ooh, again, I can't really comment too much on that. All right, Geo Merch Jr., Debian. Alrighty then, let's see. Matthew, Matthew Moore, what's up? If I based this simply on stability and number of bugs, I would have to put OpenSUSE on top. Again, I see another pattern here for votes for OpenSUSE. I, I believe I did take a look at the last OpenSUSE, and I believe I liked what I saw. Now, is OpenSUSE a rolling distribution? I can't remember. Anyway, it has been the most stable distro for me this year. Cool, the best distro overall would have to be Arch. Well, I suppose... I can agree with that, Matthew, for power users, but for newbies, nah, I don't think so. Yes, I do recall OpenSUSE. Okay, that was my reply. Daniel Golden, Mint 17 Cinnamon is first, and Elementary is in second. I use Elementary more just for the modern interface. I don't know, I took a look at the last ele Elementary, there just wasn't enough there to wow me. Mikhail Victor, hello, Debian stable with LXDs ago, but you have to do some things by hand to make it a friendly distro yourself, laughing out loud, okay? I did reply for Debian, I think LMDE or Point Linux, and he replies, handy Linux, laughing out loud. Ah, uh, well, hey, if it comes in handy, why not? <laughs> Let's see, Quale S66 Linux Lite. Okay, that's good enough for me. What kind of replies do we have here? Dexter replied, wow, over at all. I always have to hear that from you. Okay, looks like there's some conversation here between you guys. Um, Kevin Bragg then shared. Hello, Kevin. Ghost67 shared. Thank you. Also, Ghost says, NTX MX14 was fantastic for me this year. Along, also, we got Ubuntu Mate. NTX, isn't, isn't that a lightweight distribution? As far as Ubuntu Mate, it's too new for me to really give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but we shall see. Rob Monet, hello Rob. Gen2 KDE is my favorite. My second choice is Arch KDE. Third choice is Manjaro. You like your rollings, don't you? And I would also, he says, and I would recommend any Linux Mint. I think I would also recommend any Linux Mint. Willem Van Diesen, Linux Mint 17, another vote for Cinnamon, is in my opinion the best distro. Well, I will say this, I think Linux Mint 17 is probably the most improved with the latest Cinnamon 2.2 or 2.4, I forget. Whatever the latest one is, I tested it and it's awesome. Kevin Collins, Ubuntu GNOME, wonderful. The Larry 512, here we go, Linux Mint 17, Cinnamon, Zorn OS 8, a close second. Wait a minute, isn't there a Zorn, Zorn OS 9? But you prefer 8. Okay. JT, was up? Jeff Linux Turner, my good friend from Canada. OpenSUSE GNOME 13.1 Elementary OS Freya, even though it's not stable yet. A lot of, well, quite a few for, quite a few comments, votes for Elementary. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I did reply. I must admit, I don't understand all this, all this excitement for Elementary. Just my opinion. Let's see, Hiwao Silva, Mint Cinnamon, righto. All right, Jan Lopez, hello. Fedora 20, 20 ne never give, gave me headache, except for Compass, it was buggy just a little. I had to reply, saying never and accept or buggy in same sentence equals headache for me. Bikal replied better without Compass. It's probably going to be more stable without that, huh? All right, Lemming, Lemming, Lemon, Lemming of Evil. Hello, as a rolling dish distro, I'll toss a vote for Manjaro. Sounds good to me. And Shadow7 says, Debian stable for those of us with old hardware and slow interwebs. Not the best at everything, but if you need to recover an old laptop with a failed hard drive in under an hour while running just the things you need, it's hard not to go Debian. Can't you recover an old uh, laptop with many Linux distros? I don't know. LTTNA, Linux Mint Cinnamon, hands down in my opinion. And Colin Bates says, I agree, Linux Mint Cinnamon 17 is by far the best. Well, so far, based on your comments, the short week of this, Linux Mint, 7, Linux Mint Cinnamon seems to be the winner so far. 
X Metal says Lennox Smith XFCE, though Lennox Smith Cinema is up there too. Joseph Dixon, hello Joseph. I've been a big fan of Solid X and Solid K. C128D, Point Linux 2.3, the absolute best of the year, hands down. I had to say why. And C, thank you for the nice long reply here. It's Debian Base, uses Mate, will run on just about any PA capable system stable and all that good stuff thank you for your reply i would probably have to agree with all of this huh crozet isles crunch bang all right and we have some replies here marcus baird also likes a, a bunch of linux mint darren hello peppermint five marcus not not for me anything lxde okay graham linux another vote for elementary number two is linux light Ubuntu No 12.4. Christian XFCE Fedora and OpenSUSE. Ah, uh -uh, wait a minute, Christian. If you're going to call yourself XFCE, you have to vote for XFCE, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. David A. Spicer, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Okay. And Kubuntu 14.04 is an excellent distro. I've had no issues with it. Manjaro is another great one, also. And Terragos is excellent. Also, I had to reply the best looking KDE distro is. You'll have to wait for that one. Although some of you can probably probably guess which one I showed you it last month, a couple weeks ago. Can't remember. All right, I think I read all of your comments on that one as quickly as I could. If I missed anyone, please accept my humble apologies. So I think I will end it here. Uh, again, you can keep commenting voting on this I believe until the deadline will be coming up here next week November 21st I do not have a date yet for the next live event it will be on holiday gaming for sure since I just picked up the Xbox one and a couple games so we can talk about any gaming you would want to on the next one whether it's Linux Windows Android Mac Xbox, uh, PlayStation 4, that's all cool with me. If it's cool with you, I'm good with that. Again, holiday gaming will be the next theme for the live Toss Today event. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much, as always, for watching and listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe, support, and share, like, and all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Thank you once again, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux future.